hi everyone welcome back to this youtube channel in case you're coming to this channel for the first time this is jofia diy in today's video i'll be making aloe vera soup using aloe vera powder all right um i will start measuring out the um uh, the the oils i'll be using in today's video i'll be using uh, three types of oil i'll be using um tallow i'll be using shea butter and i'll be using um sorry four types of oil i'll be using tallow shea butter uh palm kernel oil and um and sunflower oil all right so what i'm adding in now is my shea butter i've measured the quantity i'll be needing then i'll go ahead and add in my tallow you know or what tallow if you don't know what tallow is tallow is a, a cow a rendered cow fat Apart from a cow, then you render it. That is your tallow. Okay, oh, this is my tallow. I'm going to measure out the quantity I'll be needing also. If you don't have tallow, you can replace it with a, a shea butter or any other type of oil that you like. I like I, I love to use tallow for this because of the fatty acids in it. It's also um, the same with the one we have on our skin. It's very, very good for the skin. It's good for eczema. It's good for rashes too. Okay, I'll measure out my water because i'll be i'll we dissolve the caustic soda now because i'll be working with a heat transfer method okay this is the amount of water i'll be needing for this production and i will add in my caustic soda my light to it or caustic soda or sodium hydroxide whichever you call it i'll add it into the oil into the water gradually and i will mix it make sure that it dissolves very well well and i'll keep that outside and measure out my oil i'll be using uh like i said i'll be using four types of oil for this production i've already added two into the mixing vessel and i'll go ahead and measure out the remaining two this is a uh, pko i will take out the quantity i'll be needing but i'll measure it separately into my measuring jug and please make sure your oil is in liquid form make sure your oil is of uh, it's liquidified don't use a um, oil uh, that it's already blocked make sure that you, you dissolve you melt your oil for it to be in liquid form before you start measuring it then i'm i'm going to add in my sunflower oil this is the sunflower oil i don't even know this brand I don't know how the color is i'll add in the sunflower oil the quantity i'll be needing then i will shift that aside and start the production proper okay i'll start by okay that's not enough okay i'll start by measure um dissolving the butters using the heat from the cosy from the lye okay i will add in the lye and i will stir i will add in the lye as and i will stir please if you don't want to work with this uh, method we can dissolve your lye your caustic soda earlier enough or days before or months before then you take out the measurement you'll be needing and you melt your butter, you melt your tallow, you melt your shea butter, then it will be in liquid form. You also take the measurements and you start um, adding the, you know, the normal process now of cold method, all right? But here I'll be using semi, semi, um, semi hot, yes, and again heat transfer, all right? I'm dedicating the, this video to uh, Portfolio 9 community, especially to the people in the asap training that they, that just happened or that just going on in the portfolio nine community okay they requested for aloe vera soap antiseptic soap uh, turmeric and carrot soap and um one other soup like that okay now can you see the heat from the lye has dissolved the butter has melted the butter okay can you see are you seeing any lump of or any chunk of butter in there no so when that has dissolved uh, has melted i uh, will go ahead and add in the liquid oil all right you're adding the liquid oil and you mix it very well mix it very well mix it just like um uh, your your normal uh, soup making cold process but in this method i use the heat transfer heat transfer mean, meaning that i use the heat from the lye to dissolve the hard oils okay so i'll mix that very well mix that very well until it traces okay even it reaches trace 
you can add in um, the ingredients to be using your active ingredient. If you don't want to do that, you can also do a semi hot, which I want to do now. Okay, semi hot. You know, you're going to cover or leave the soap, and you know, before uh, you know, you now wait for it to gel. Okay, please make sure that you prepare all your ingredients down before now. Make sure before you start your production, before you start mixing the lye and the oil. Make sure that all your ingredients, all your uh, um, the things you'll be adding to the soup, they are all measured out and kept aside. Okay, now I'm going to measure out my aloe vera powder. I'll be using aloe vera powder for those that find it difficult to get aloe vera gel. This aloe vera powder, I'll measure the quantity I'll be needing. And I'm going to dissolve it with a little amount of water, just a little amount of water. You know, you don't need too much water in this. If not, your soap is not going to dry up fast or harden up fast. Okay, now I'm mixing it. Make sure that you mix it very well uh, to avoid uh, lumps. I'm seeing some white lumps. Can you see? Can you see? Okay, you make sure that you dissolve the powder very, very well. Okay, as if I know. That's why I told you that you should dissolve your powders, bring out all your ingredients before you start mixing your lye and your oil. Okay, I'll make sure the thing is mixed very well. Then I will keep it and um, I'm going to add a little pigment, okay, to boost the, the color of the aloe vera. I know aloe vera uh, comes... Aloe vera has a green color, okay? So I'm adding a water-soluble color uh, pigment or color to this aloe vera powder. Can you see the color now? Okay, can you see the color now? Please, if you are working with oil sol water-soluble color, add it to your water-soluble ingredients. If you are working with oil-soluble color, add it to your oil-soluble ingredients. And I will keep that aside and check on my soap to know um, how it is, okay? And I'll bring in the soap now. I will open it and check if it has traced, okay? It's cooking gradually. It's cooking. Remember, I told you, if you don't want to use this, if you don't want to do this semi-hot, you can right now, at this moment, when the soap has mixed together, add all your ingredients, add your um uh, aloe vera powder add your add your fragrance add your essential oil if you are using add your antiseptic if you are using if you want to do antiseptic soap and you don't know the type to use just um uh, chat me up i'm going to tell you the one you use and the percentage you're going to use okay then i'm taking now i'm taking a little uh amount of oil i'm just dipping my hand into my measuring jar can you see and i'm oiling my mold this is plus uh dish soap dish yes soap dish i'll use it as a mold uh, for those that don't have money to buy silicone mold that i don't have money to buy to go and construct a wooden mold you can use this uh, disposable plate you also oil it you use your soap dish you also oil it you can use you know just improvise your mo your mold okay so that's that i'm going to check on the soap once again to know um how it is okay let me open this up and, and show you can you see it's cooking it's gelling it's cooking but i'm not going to allow it to gel completely okay if you want to see how a soup gels check the previous video i i dropped on a semi-hot laundry bath soup semi-hot laundry bath soup i've dropped that video check the video you will see how it's a, a soup gels okay i'm going to cover it back you know, maybe for the last time now and i will check on it later okay let me check now okay it's okay i'm going to start adding in my my ingredients like i said you add your aloe vera powder you add your fragrance you add your essential oil you add your antiseptic if you if you're working with turmeric you dissolve it in a little amount of oil and you add it at this stage or amount of water you add your antiseptic you can use a chlorine linol. You can use a um, pine oil. Okay, you add whatever you want to add at this stage, and you pour it into your mold. Okay, if you're having any difficulty in making this soup, just contact me. And for those of you in uh, from ASAP Portfolio Nine training, please feel free to uh, chat me. Okay, we all we meet in the training group. All right, so you add all your ingredients, you mix it, then you pour it into your mold and wait 
for 24 hours to remove the soup from the mold. You keep it for it to cure for at least, you know, uh, one week if you are using my method of, of um, if you are using my method of dissolving lye um, in water, okay? But if not, keep the soup to cure for at least, for at least one week. You can leave it to cure for two weeks. You can leave it to cure for one month. That's four weeks, six weeks, okay? The longer the soup cures, the better it becomes. The foamy it becomes. The hard, the, the, the firmer it becomes, okay? The longer you leave your soup, the better. That is the essence of leaving a soup to cure. If not, nothing else, okay? I'll add it into the mold and or mold it in 24 hours that's it thank you all for watching please if you are um, a returning subscriber uh, i do not forget you you are always in my mind thank you so so much for coming back thank you for your support thank you for your love okay remember our training is still on the payment is still on the commercial laundry bar soap is uh training is still on if you're finding it difficult to make profit in your uh commercial bath laundry bath soap in your bathing soap you're having any skin challenges you don't know the type of herbs you use okay just you know join any of the training that the free training or the pay training you're going to get all your answered and all your solution all right this is it and this is the soap after 24 hours i will unmold it and keep it to cure at least for one week before i sell this soap out can you see how beautiful the soap is that is how i want yours to come out and please don't forget to um show me your your own work let me see uh, let me you know commend you or correct you okay and for those that heard me i mentioned um a community a portfolio nine community is a it's a facebook community if you are looking for a community where you feel at home where you're going to learn um your desired skills your dream skills you know where you're going to um start making money uh, at the comfort of your home please join this community it's very very good for you i'm going to drop the link to the facebook community that's portfolio nine community in the description box okay just look for it and click on it you can you will join you will see yourself in the group thank you all for watching see you all in the next video